Chapter 34 Then Elihu said, Hear my words, you wise men. Listen to me, you men of learning. For the ear tests words as the tongue tastes food. Let us discern for ourselves what is right. Let us learn together what is good. Job says, I am innocent, but God denies me justice. Although I am right, I am considered a liar. Although I am guiltless, his arrow inflicts an incurable wound. What man is like Job, who drinks scorn like water? He keeps company with evildoers. He associates with wicked men, for he says, It profits a man nothing when he tries to please God. So listen to me, you men of understanding. Far be it from God to do evil, from the Almighty to do wrong. He repays a man for what he has done. He brings upon him what his conduct deserves. It is unthinkable that God would do wrong, that the Almighty would pervert justice. Who appointed him over the earth? Who put him in charge of the whole world? If it were his intention and he withdrew his spirit and breath, all mankind would perish together and man would return to the dust. If you have understanding, hear this. Listen to what I say. Can he who hates justice govern? Will you condemn the just and mighty one? Is he not the one who says to kings, You are worthless, and to nobles, you are wicked, who shows no partiality to princes and does not favor the rich over the poor, for they are all the work of his hands? They die in an instant in the middle of the night. The people are shaken and they pass away. The mighty are removed without human hand. His eyes are on the ways of men. He sees their every step. There is no dark place, no deep shadow where evildoers can hide. God has no need to examine men further that they should come before him for judgment. Without inquiry, he shatters the mighty and sets up others in their place. Because he takes note of their deeds, he overthrows them in the night and they are crushed. He punishes them for their wickedness, where everyone can see them, because they turned from following him and had no regard for any of his ways. They caused the cry of the poor to come before him so that he heard the cry of the needy. But if he remains silent, who can condemn him? If he hides his face, who can see him? Yet he is over man and nation alike, to keep a godless man from ruling, from laying snares for the people. Suppose a man says to God, I am guilty but will offend no more. Teach me what I cannot see. If I have done wrong, I will not do so again. Should God then reward you on your terms when you refuse to repent? You must decide, not I. So tell me what you know. Men of understanding declare, wise men who hear me say to me, Job speaks without knowledge. His words lack insight. Oh, that Job might be tested to the utmost for answering like a wicked man. To this sin he adds rebellion. Scornfully he claps his hands among us and multiplies his words against God.